Hello and welcome to today's video. If you're new here, welcome and if you've been here before, I'm glad you're back. In today's video, I'm gonna talk about a solid cream gel polish. That's something that I've seen on social media for so long now and I really wanted to try it and it looks so creamy and oh, it looks so amazing. So I uh, looked around a little bit and I found this company that sells a multitude of colors. Uh, they have really great reviews and I uh, reached out to them. I purchased some products with my own money and then they sent me a package like to, to try some other stuff as well, some other colors as well. So um, today I'm gonna do like a haul and I'm gonna show you what I purchased. I'm gonna show you what they sent me. Uh, and yeah, the claim that they uh, uh, say about these gel polishes is that they're highly pigmented and then they're silky and they have a non-floating uh, formula, which means they're not going to spill. So you can put them however you want in your drawer. They're not going to move around in the pot. I cannot wait to see how they look and I just, oh, I'm so excited. You can't even imagine. But uh, anyway, I have two packages and I'm gonna open both of them today and we're gonna do some swatching and we're gonna see what's what and you know, maybe I'll try some um, other techniques to, to work with them, but we'll see how long this video is actually gonna take. If not, I will have to actually have another video that's gonna be uh, with the different techniques because I saw that you can do an ombre, which you guys know already, I cannot do ombre, so if I can do it, ombre with these is gonna be a game changer for me uh but yeah i'll, I'll probably anyway use it uh, for painting all kinds of stuff and but first we're gonna do the swatching and see how long that's gonna take me so i am going to start first with the bigger pa package it seems like it's a uh, plastic sleeve and then underneath is just like a proper box um considering it came from china the package doesn't have any kind of dents which is great and i will just open it up and see what's inside god i cannot wait i've been waiting for these well to try these for so long actually the package to come from china to uk took only one week which was extremely surprising because every time i ordered anything from china it took four to five to six to seven <laughs> but oh that's a beautiful box look at that i can probably reuse that for something else because i like to reuse boxes <laughs> I'm weird, I know. So let's open it. Oh my god, this is so awesome. It's just... Oh my god, this is in the shape of hearts. Look at that. And it's a nice sticker here, but it's in the shape of hearts. Have you ever seen this? I'll pop this later. I always like to pop it. <laughs> and... Oh, hello. <laughs> I haven't ordered these. So I'm guessing they do a little like gift kind of thing. And I um, also I contacted them after they already shipped this package about, you know, showing their products on my YouTube channel. And so they probably do these for everyone. I don't think they put them in just because I was, you know, I, I said I'm going to put them on my channel because they didn't know back then <laughs> anyway and oh these are gorgeous these are gonna be perfect for Halloween and these for Christmas look at that they're like little stickers I'm guessing yep they're stickers so they're not uh, yeah they're stickers so they're not water decals they're just basically you peel them off and you place them on the nail which is great and then, oh, this is an extension gel, which I'm guessing is like poly gel. It seems quite uh, dense in there. So yeah, I am guessing it's gonna be like poly gel. I'm gonna have to look into it. And then holographic magic chrome pigment. Oh, oh, this is this gonna be messy? So, all right. Oh, yes. Oh my God, that's gonna be beautiful. I don't know if you can pick it up because my uh, light is not good with uh, chrome powders that are holographic, but this is gonna be beautiful to work with. Oh, and mess free, look at that. That's not even gonna be messy, it's awesome. And then a cuticle oil, I actually use these all the time. I give them as gifts to my clients. 
um, or you know they can purchase them because they're cheap and um, they're really handy because they're pen cuticle oils so you can buy these in bulk and you can actually retail them if you want um, you would turn this and then you'd paint like oil on uh, the nails and then put this back in your pocket and yeah they're very handy I actually have loads of those because as I said I give them to my clients and then we have a glitter here which is gonna be perfect for Christmas because it's like a micro micro glitter so you can you know do sugaring with it and then oh this is awesome I love it it's like a I don't even know how to call it it's flakes but they're different color flakes I yeah you you saw and then what is in here oh excuse me I just dropped my scissors into my foot <laughs> and this is liner gel oh my god this is like a gel paint isn't it oh I cannot wait to try this as well and it comes with its own liner look at that that's nice and thin I know it doesn't look very thin because it has like loads of polish paint in it but it's actually very thin oh I love this I might actually get some more of these <laughs> right and then next this is uh, the brush that comes in with I think with every set of those gel polishes that you purchase so I'm gonna I always struggle to open these type of closure things closing things I don't know why I always do <laughs> and it's basically a synthetic brush oh it's really soft like extremely soft I have the the Lord brush that I always use for gel but this is extremely soft compared to that one obviously that one is for hard gel and this one would be for like that gel polish so it's gonna be nice and soft but uh, yeah it just says UV gel brush from Vetsy and then obviously they're like little card with how to use stuff and then another card with how to use other oh these are <laughs> I oh I actually have some more of these I didn't mention them before did I but there's yeah there's more these are like um, I forgot how these are called vinyls so you put these on the nail and then paint with normal nail polish over the top and then remove uh, the vinyl and have the design I never actually used these but I'll give them a try at some point I guess <laughs> since I have them because I didn't until now and then these are something like vinyls I'm sure that everyone that ever did a French manicure knows these um because you could only find them like this for a very very long time so just basically rounded um, and they were specifically for french and then they came out with all sorts of like weird shapes which is great and i actually have some of these already but i use them maybe twice because i i'm not using normal nail polish anymore so but yeah they'll, they'll find the place oh and then we have some more of these stickers so i have halloween christmas winter because they don't necessarily have to be Christmas and then like um, animal print oh this is great I love it I love it so much <laughs> so yeah until now I don't remember ordering any of this stuff like what what I showed until now so um, yeah these I'm actually probably gonna do a video on these because they are um something like dual tips but they only you only put them at the tip of your finger so i really want to show you how to uh, extend the nail i already have a set of these for a square and i really wanted one that is for almond or maybe stiletto or um, coffin or anything like that so I saw these I've never seen them anywhere else before and I thought I would need them because you know you don't actually uh, throw them away or you they are reusable so yeah I'm probably gonna do a totally different video on these and how to use them and then oh yeah I ordered also this I remember <laughs> oh come on for those 
poly gel, uh, not for the dual forms that you use with poly gel or with hard gel. I ordered these to keep the, the tip in place. Again, I've been looking for these everywhere and I just found them on this website and I ordered them because why not? So I ordered, I think, 10 of them. I don't know why I would need 10 because I'm not gonna do 10 nails at a time. I usually do two at a time the most because I go between hands, but yeah, that's, that's that. Uh, then what else is here? Oh, I remember. I forgot what I ordered. <laughs> so these, they're their own gel polishes, but they are those gel polishes that in, um, when you use a flash, they sparkle like diamonds. And when there's no flash, or harsh light, they don't sparkle. I can't show you that because my light is very, very bright, but at the same time, if I don't have light, the settings in the camera just don't pick up anything. But you can see how much that sparkles, it's incredible. So in a flashlight, this would be so sparkly and beautiful. And I ordered a few colors of this, I think three, because I really wanted to see how they work and everything but uh, yeah we'll uh, we'll do a bit of a um, swatch with that and if I like it I'm gonna order more because I think I'm not sure exactly how many colors they had they didn't have that many but uh, yeah this is still a solid gel one of their solid gels but if I manage to get the box open uh, we go these are solid gel but they're glitter I think you can see how gorgeous that is it's just it reminds me like of a makeup palette I think but yeah I cannot wait to play with this oh it's gonna be great love it and I ordered quite a few colors of these four actually quite a few in my uh, mind means four <laughs> God. oh I'm a mess and then this is the actual um, polishes, if I can figure out how to open this box, there you go, on this side. These are the actual solid gel polishes and they come sealed apparently and I need to find something to open that with. Found something. <laughs> and they tell you to actually never stir these. Because if you do, then they're gonna be, become very um, runny. So you're supposed to just pick up color from it. But oh my god, this red. Look at that. And it doesn't flow at all. Oh, this looks beautiful. I cannot wait to try it. Okay, I think it's time that I, um, you know, I start putting these on swatch sticks and see how everything looks um, and yeah I guess that's that's the time and I'll also they all come with a number and um, I'll tell you I'll show you what number it is when I swatch it so you know in case you see any color that you'd like you can actually quick thing to note this is the macaron collection um of polishes and they're just gorgeous a gorgeous mix and then they sent also swatch things i don't even know how to call these they're basically like swatch steps tips and I, I guess you can just hang them on the thing i'm not gonna use these unfortunately because i already have my swatch sticks and they need to go in there <laughs> and then also in that uh, in this box they sent you instructions. So basically you prep your nails, you apply base coat. I don't have their base coat and their top coat. Uh, so I'm going to use my own if needed. I'm not going to need it for swatches, but you know what I mean. I'm going to need top coat for swatches anyway. Yeah, never mind. Anyway, use a UV gel brush to take out some solid gel. You brush it onto your nails. You apply a, a top coat and then apparently it's a 20 day wear. And then on the back... Um, it shows you how to remove them 
and also it gives you some tips so it says wet the uv gel brush with a little base coat before applying which will make it easier to apply and come out with a better effect and then any base and top coat can be used so that means i can use mine uh you can apply several co color coats to achieve your desired effect which means you know you can build up the color as strong as you want and then it says as i said before do not stir your solid gel polish or it will become sticky and floating so uh, yeah okay i love that they added little cards of oh i have this one again <laughs> and then they added other uh, things to show you how to prepare and how to use their products which is awesome i think this one is from the hard gel that i've just seen before so um, I'm guessing you can use it with the dual form. So probably that's what I'll use it with, considering that uh, I really want to use the dual forms that they uh, that I ordered from them. So yeah. Okay. Anyway, I'm gonna show you the other uh, collection that they sent me, and then I'll start swatching these. So in order to prep my brush, I'm gonna use some fluid rubber from Ink London. Because as I said, I didn't actually buy their um, base coat and top coat, although maybe I should have. Um, and I'm just gonna apply some on my palette here. Again, this one's from Ink London as well. <laughs> and it doesn't seem that the brush has any kind of like glue in it to keep it together, which is great. Um, so I'm just gonna go in straight into that base coat and make sure I coat it everywhere so basically just move it around a little bit until you know it's prepped it's until it's prepped until it's full of that product that's what I meant oh god when will I learn to speak properly I wonder I wonder if that's ever gonna happen <laughs> But uh, now we seem to have enough product in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a lint-free wipe. And it's clean, so it doesn't have any product on it or cleanser or anything. And I'm just going to squeeze gently to take any excess off. So right now we have a nicely prepped brush. You can see how juicy it is. <laughs> So uh, now this brush should be ready to work with any kind of product. So I made a huge mistake and uh, well not that huge but uh, I made a mistake because you know how I said I have four of these? Well two of them. Apparently I liked that color enough to order it twice. So um, yeah this one I have twice. But that's fine. That's fine because that means if I run out I have it again. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna start uh, swatching these, although it's not necessarily a good idea because um, that means I'm gonna have glitter afterwards in my brush, but I'm gonna clean it, so that's fine. Uh, I'm gonna start swatching those and then move on from there because uh, these are like, I have only three colors and then these I have only three colors, so I'm gonna swatch those and then I'm gonna move on to the actual cream gel polishes. So. I just did this earlier and I mean look at that consistency that's just beautiful so they say don't stir it so I'm guessing not faff about in the pot but look at that that's just not moving come on focus that's not moving anywhere so it's gonna stay there until you actually put it on the nail and ooh, that's pretty oh I love this so much I probably need to change my background. Actually, no, because I have quite light colors. No, I probably need to change my background. Because I have some dark colors. But you can see it's, oh! How do you not play with this like all day? It's just such a beautiful glitter. Ah, oh, I need more. <laughs> God. This is so weird. I've never tried something like this, so for me, this consistency just throws me off. I love it so much. Obviously, these are quite big tips, so I would recommend a nice amount on there. And because they are 
the glitter is in a clear base you can actually apply it quite thick in my opinion usually the ones in uh, thicker bases you can and we'll see how um, textured it is at the end because I'm really curious about that I'm gonna try to make it as smooth as possible so play with it put it everywhere else where it's need needs to go but this is awesome I think some glitter phase with this would look amazing but you can see it's quite bumpy so I'm gonna go around the nail it's not moving at all on the nail and obviously the glitter is quite chunky so um, it will be a bit bumpy if you don't lay those glitters flat yeah just move it around wherever you see something that is poking out and I think this will need a layer of base coat and maybe a bit of buffing on the top and then a top coat but oh that's gorgeous look at that that's so beautiful right I am going to cure this for 60 seconds in my LED lamp and then I'll probably apply a base coat, give it a buff, and then apply a top coat, and then this one's gonna be done. So I decided to go straight in with the top coat and see how everything looks. First, so I'm gonna use the Ultimate No Wipe Top Coat from Link London. And so far so good, to be honest. You have to float it a little bit, so yeah, definitely I would base coat first just to have a smooth finish. If you don't like a bit of a bumpy texture, then I guess it's fine to just leave it with the top coat, but yeah, it would bother me. You can see it's a bit bumpy. So I would probably still buff this and then re-top coat again, but you can see how gorgeous that is. Oh, I love it so much. So these are the colors, all nice and shiny. And they are absolutely gorgeous, I love them. But, however, <laughs> there is definitely a learning curve on how to apply these. Um, it, it is my fault as well, definitely, because I applied them very thickly. Um, I tried to apply them on one layer with a great coverage and you know because they're really big glitters they're not gonna sit as nicely as I want them to but I think that if you do a bit of a buffing and whatever at the end and do exactly what I did with the base coat I think they're gonna look beautiful and you know that's gonna be a lot easier or just you know apply a couple of layers instead of just one and by the way this one I need to show you like it's it has different colors depending on what color is underneath. This one is just basically silver. Um, I know the camera kind of picks it up a bit blue, but it's more silver than blue. And then obviously this one is just mixed colors. But yeah, this one definitely has different shades depending on what color you put it on top. So yeah, I really love these. But as I said, there's definitely a bit of a learning curve. You need to be careful on how you apply them. Uh, but it's not all lost at the end if you know they don't look as good as you want you can always just kind of do what I did and apply a base coat buff and then top coat and then you're done so yeah I love them next thing that I want to swatch is um, 
this <laughs> and this is that gel polish that I showed you earlier that just sparkles like crazy when you put a flash on it so I'm gonna show you at the end how all the colors look once you uh, put the flash on them but in the meantime I'm just gonna paint a layer and oh they're really nice and thin to work with really nice and I love how beautiful this color is it's just so gorgeous I love it I love the depth that it has already with the light that I have on um, but yeah wait until you see the actual flash <laughs> And this is how they look like with the shiny top coat um, and for your sake <laughs> I'll actually turn on my um, flash from the camera so you can see how they look because they are incredible so are you ready there you go oh my god look at them sparkle it's mm, they're so gorgeous obviously my setup with my lighting and everything my lighting is already very bright but you can see how much they sparkle it's oh they're amazing actually i'm just gonna leave it on so um honestly the camera doesn't do these justice they are absolutely incredible in real life um they're really easy to work with um they have a bit of a different formula like these two have a colorful uh base whereas this one has just a clear base so obviously it it's a bit more sheer than these two but i think that if you want a nice color um here without actually putting three coats or coats or more you could put just a pink underneath and just put this on top and it would be perfect so it's no problem, it's just the fact that this is plain glitter, whereas these have like a colorful jelly kind of uh, base color, base, base to them. But this one is just the most beautiful blue I've ever seen. So you have the little diamonds on the top and then underneath it just has like this blue and um, trust me, these are amazing. <laughs> I cannot wait. I think this is gonna be a staple color for Christmas because it looks like I've put like three different shades One on top of the other but in actuality is just one color. So yeah, I love them so much and I really think that uh, you can use them for nail art for painting with them as well. I think they do have their like separate gel paints with this type of um, effect on them, but you can use these easily as well so yeah i would definitely recommend these and we finally got to these <laughs> and i'm just so excited i left them until the end but i'm just i i wanted to open all of them as soon as possible but um yeah i just had to wait because i wanted to do those because you know there were less so this one's gonna be longer obviously um but because I already opened this one, this is number 36, as you can see here. I'm just gonna give this one a swatch really quickly. And oh my god, that's so creamy. Can you see how creamy that is? It reminds me in texture of uh, acrylic paint. Like, yeah, definitely reminds me of acrylic paint. It's not sticky, it doesn't drag, the brush just flows and they are pigmented. Like, that's a really, really thin layer. Really thin. Like you can see, I'm just wiping my brush on the nail and it's already very pigmented. All these are gonna be insane for nail art. They're gonna be perfect. 
Oh my god, I love it so much. I'm so happy I bought these. I need to try these to do an ombre as well, because... <laughs> if I can do an ombre with these, I think I'm just going to move to China. <laughs> to have the suppliers in my backyard. But yeah, it doesn't... It doesn't flow anywhere, and it's an extremely, extremely thin coat. I'm dragging more and more product off just to see how thin I can get. But yeah, it's extremely thin now. And um, I will do two coats just because it's very hard to paint on these tips because they have a very, very pronounced curve here, and it bothers me to see that shadowing there. So I'll do two coats of this, but yeah, I have something here that bothers me as well. Anyway, I'll give these a cure, um, 60 seconds, and then I will do a second coat and just do that for all of them and then a top coat and that's it. So this is the whole macaron collection. I think it's really, really beautiful pastel colors. They go really well together. I really love this collection. This is the second box. This is the box that uh, Vetsy sent me to review, so I did not purchase this with my own money. However, they did say that I can do like a real review. I can be very um, honest with everything I say, so. That's good. <laughs> so I'm just gonna open this up. Again, I really like how it's packaged and it is upside down. Um, I need to open it here. So the box was sealed as well. very bad at opening things as you can see <laughs> and this is what they sent me oh my god 
Again, we have some of these like um, vinyl type things for French. Um, this would be really good for beginners. I just don't use them anymore, honestly. I've never... I, I used them when I was a beginner, but I'm not gonna use them now. These are... I don't know... Oh yeah, you can see them. They're like uh, Halloween stickers, but they're white, so compared to the other ones which were really col colorful. I am really excited to actually use these. I think I'm gonna do a video on how to use these type of stickers. And then they sent me another one of their brushes. They sent me their base coat and top coat, which is perfect because uh, now I have base coat and top coat. <laughs> and they sent me their matte top coat as well, which I'm really excited to try. And then they sent me some darker colors um, which I think with the other collection is going to be such a nice uh, combination so let's see what I have here so um, yeah I've got quite a range I would say of colors I have white and I think one of them is black as well I'm not sure which one they both kind of look black don't they um, so I'll go swatching with these I will change my background for these because they are very dark so I really want you guys to see what um, how they look and how pigmented they are otherwise you couldn't see if you you know if it would be a black back background so yeah i'll um, go ahead and swatch these as well and i'll try their uh, top coats and see how those are and um, i'll see you at the end for my final thoughts
this is this collection all swatched I think they are beautiful colors for autumn they they just go really really well for this particular time of year um, and I cannot wait to use them in like some nail art and see how they go because they are gorgeous my final thoughts about this solid gel polish are these I absolutely love the pigmentation in them um, I love how satisfying and delicious they look I don't know why I think they look delicious but they do um, I love the fact that they don't spill anywhere like whatever you do you can leave your pot like that and come back three days later and it's still there um, oh there you go I dropped it nothing happened so I absolutely love this about it uh, they seem really good quality the only well there are two downsides to this uh, in my opinion they are minor compared to you know uh, the the good parts the pro parts of this so one downside that I don't like is that on some of the pots the color on the top is not exactly the color that's in, inside like it's there but it's not perfect like if you have different shades of yellow it's not gonna show you exactly which one so it's better if you have your swatches and actually look to see how the color looks otherwise you're just gonna end up opening all of the pots and see what color is inside you can see that the swatch here is a bit reddish compared to the actual color however it's not a big thing for me because I usually go for the numbers as you know I, I the, the way my uh, system of like storage works is I work for numbers and then I number my swatch sticks and then I go straight for you know the number of the gel polish so for me that's not a huge thing the second thing which uh, again is not a huge thing is that there is a learning curve on how to apply them uh, you can't put a lot of pressure uh, you have to like float the um, brush over the top which is not a huge thing again it's it's quite uh, easy to learn but if you're used to other systems it's just gonna take a bit uh, until you learn so it's it's not huge that's a downside to be honest I couldn't find any more downsides in that so as I said I will give a very honest review and this is a very honest review I absolutely love these I think they are definitely worth the money uh, as I said I waited for about a week for them to come in because their deposit is in China um, and I yeah I, I do love them <laughs> I will however do a few videos with how to use them with nail art I'm probably gonna do a couple of videos on how to use um, those stickers because you know not uh, I, I haven't used any stickers on my channel until now and uh, I think that they still have a bit of a learning curve I remember I used at some point some stickers and they peeled off and then I had to actually learn how to make them stay on the nail until um, you know they're ready to come off until the uh, infill anyway I'm talking a lot and I'm talking a lot of nonsense now but uh, let me know if you want to see anything else on my channel, if you want me to like look at any other brands to maybe do uh, another kind of review on anything that you want to see. And um, also check out Vetsy, they are really really nice, they have really good customer service and you know the, the website is full of stuff, like it's absolutely incredible what they have on that website, so just go check them out. Um, and I will see you in the next video. Okay, bye!